guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Liverpool Carrier Mode and we play the Merseyside Derby in the League Cup so that is always a big game, we don't want to go out to Everton and comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see on the screen thank you so much for your awesome support and great comments on the previous episode let's keep, let's keep it going, let's get this video to 150 likes with your help and at the end of the previous episode Fabinho got a really serious three month injury so that's a big worry but we have Henderson we have Thiago we have Bellingham who can all play defensive midfield so I will probably rotate Henderson and Thiago in that role some refer to it as the friendly derby but exactly how friendly is it likely to be when these two Merseyside rivals collide in fact you would think the sparks are going to fly Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Welcome to Bigudison Park. After playing Man United and, and I want to beat Everton the most. This is our like second most important fixture of the season, maybe alongside beating Manchester City. Let's win at Goodison Park. That's always extra sweet to win in this stadium as Liverpool. Oh, come on. Keeper, 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 that's you. Oh my goodness, the keeper missed. The ball, Let's what are you doing? Timikas to Darwin Nunez. Timikas back to Nunez. Nabi Keita, brilliant attack. What a finish! Nabi Keita, I'm playing my second team because it's only at the League Cup. Nabi Keita is a really good player, he was one of our top scoring midfielders last season, and now he gets his first goal of the season. I think great finish to defend. Oh, Jordan Henderson. I got the ball! Ref! Ah, uh, Henderson gets a yellow card, but you know what? It's the Merseyside derby. You need to get stuck in. Moise Kahn. Jeremy Pino. Oh, no. Moise Kahn. Matip, great clearance. Carvalho. And Nabi Keita! Oh, and Pickford saves it. Oh, Demario Greer is in. Don't let him in! To Curry! To Julian Brandt! Goes past me and scores! I couldn't foul him because we were in the box and Julian Brandt, the former Dortmund player who is probably the best attacking player of uh, Everton at the moment, scores a pretty nice goal. I was one-on-one -on -one with him and this little shimmy I didn't expect and that's a great finish. What? Demar right great just went past Moise Kahn go to him oh Chakir oh how how did he go past me Demar right great I can't believe it Everton are roasting me at the back oh my goodness I was right there and then I blocked the first uh, cross and of course Demar Gray goes past two of my players and then he scores unbelievable the goal to concede oh you kidding me you are absolutely joking that's only a yellow card this now turned into a really dirty feisty go on Cannon, two, well, Nabi Keita, and no, nah, mate. Come on, Cannon. What can they do from here? Please, Ferreira, great block. Terrific block. Firmino, please, Firmino. Yes, Bobby Firmino equalizes. Come on, get the ball. We still have life in this game. And now I will bring on the big guns. Salah, Jota, Luis Diaz. Hopefully they can help us win the game. Brilliant skill and finish by Bobby Firmino. Come on, Salah. Now we have the big guns. Oh, oh. Mo Salah, please. Yes! it makes to have Mo Salah on the pitch an absolutely brilliant goal from a short corner I love this goal because Salah rolls the defender brilliantly then he does the heel to heel flick and then he curls it around three Everton defenders plus the goalkeeper beautiful Mo Salah mind you this has been a really good game 
Bellingham, please, Bellingham, Pickford saves it. Yes, guys, we knocked out Everton from the League Cup. I know it's the only the League Cup, but because they are our city rivals, this means more. And I think we deserved it. We had twice as many shots as Everton. We were, the expected goals was exactly the result. So I think it's a fair scoreline. We had seven shots on target. And this, of course, Salah was the man of the match who won us the game. But Nabi Keita had a brilliant game. One goal, one assist. And Bobby Firmino scored as well. So I'm delighted we knocked out Everton from the League Cup and we are in round four and let's see if any of the other big teams went out or not. Man City got through but Arsenal lost to second division Bristol City and Chelsea lost as well. So two big teams are already out and we get Exeter City. That's an excellent draw because they are I think in League Two so they are one of the worst teams that we could draw so that should be no problem and Man City played Tottenham so the League Cup has really opened up and Burnley just got promoted from the championship they have a pretty solid attack but their defense and the midfield is really weak so we should win this and I'm still playing some of my second team because we have the Athletic Bilbao game in three days time welcome to Anfield let's smash Burnley let's get back to winning ways in the Premier League after we lost to Chelsea Oh no, Backhorst is in, he goes past me but Chuck here makes a big save. Oh no, Benson, wow, what a burst of pace that is, don't foul him, okay. Cannon, Salah, go on Salah, he can go in and Salah! What a save! Come on, Salah. Let's roast these bastards. Please. Mo Salah! No, mate! Come on, Cannon. Back horse! Oh, wow. Shakir with a big save. I'm bringing on the big guns. So Jota, Bellingham, Thiago, Trent, all are coming on. And oh, wow. Burnley are cheesing with the short corner. What? That's a... It's not a foul referee, what are you on about? And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Go on, Jota. Well, there you have it. Please, Jota. Oh, what a pass! Oh, wait a minute. Jota! They could be in here. Please finish it! Yes! On the counter attack! It's an instant impact from Diogo Jota! Oh my goodness, from a Burnley free kick, we countered with devastating pace. And Jota's first touch was brilliant. He got away from the defender and then he finishes it. Jota is also off to a flyer this season. Four goals in five. Are you kidding? Ooh. Thiago, look at how open Trent is. And Jota again blasts it into the top corner. It's an absolute clinical finish. Jota as a substitute won us this game on his own pretty much. Brilliant pass by Bobby Firmino and Jota bangs it in. Let's see if I can curl it. Oh! Oh my goodness, why is Jota playing right back? No! Clear the ball! A free kick! This referee, man! Unbelievable! He is giving free kick after free kick. No way! No! No! I can't believe we lost the clean sheet because of a referee. Absolutely horrendous decision. It's like the referee wanted to give Burnley a goal. Every 50-50 decision went to Burnley and yeah, I just can't defend that free kick. The most important thing is the three points, but that last minute Burnley goal was so annoying to concede because it wasn't a free kick. And yeah, with our second team, we didn't create as many chances as I wanted to, but the most important thing is the three points. And it wasn't Jota who was the man of the match. Now that's strange. Oh, and I forgot to show you Ajax after winning the champion League last season they won the European Super Cup as well so they are rolling back the 80s and the 90s when they were dominating Europe and winning a lot of European trophies and we are back on top of the Premier 
league after Aston Villa did us a favor and beat Man United. Chelsea didn't win either and Everton lost to Nottingham Forest. Man City lost to Newcastle. What is going on? I wish EA would be more realistic with Bilbao only playing Basque players in real life. Uh, that uh, part of the, the region of Spain is the only place where they select players from. So it's so weird to see former Everton player Anthony Gordon playing for them and Harvey Elliott, our player, on loan at Bilbao. When the draw was made for this round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably two of the favourites to go all the way. It's going to be fascinating. Next. Welcome to the beautiful San Mames Stadium. As soon as the draw was made, I was looking forward to this game the most because look at what a wonderful stadium that is. The San Mames is one of the most iconic stadiums in Spain and I'm actually happy to see Bilbao in the Champions League because I like their club philosophy. Stewart, what part might he play in this match? Oh my goodness, what a strike! Thiago. Thiago. Jota. And Salah is in! But Oh my goodness. Harvey Elliott, our former our own player! Oh, if Elliott shoots there, he could have scored. Uh oh. Ismael Diaz is pretty fast. Gordon! Ooh, offside. We got lucky. Come on! Close him down! Alisson, what a world class save that is. Yes, Van Dijk. Beautiful. Jota. Oh. Go on. Bellingham! Jude Bellingham! What a goal! Jude Bellingham scored an absolute banger! Let's go! And we get a hyper motion replay. Nobody was close to me, so I thought let's have a rocket. Bellingham is flying in the Champions League. He scored two against Inter, now he has another one. Oh wow 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 Harvey, Harvey Elliott stop it dude I love that oh no Harvey Elliott is absolutely cooking <laughs> Carvalho to Trent Oh yes oh yes Trent he can go in all the way have a dig and it I thought that was in he's brilliant Oh no Marusic Gordon Gordon, oh no! Yes, Alisson, great save. Oh wow, Diaz! Oh, we missed it! Let's watch this again. If this is Alisson, that is a world-class save. And there's the delivery. Oh my! Oh, come on, FIFA! Another goal from a set piece. I had Van Dijk on this guy, but then it switches to Diaz, and he's on the wrong side. Why didn't Van Dijk go up for the ball? And shot! What a brilliant passing move! Absolutely glorious goal! Diogo Jota is on fire! I'm sorry if I haven't commentated all over this goal, but I was concentrating so hard to get this goal to work and it does a brilliant passing move. I love these passing goals. Oh no, Kerkes! Oh wow, Gordon just juggled the ball on his head. Did you see that? To the other... Uh oh! Oh, this is a, really a problem. No, Harvey Elliott. Please don't roast me in the last minute, Harvey. Don't do this to me. Harvey Elliott. Look at him. Oh, no. Dude. No. Oh, my goodness. We needed Alisson to save us in the last minute. What an epic titanic battle this was and Harvey Elliott did an absolute madness in this game so we are actually a little bit lucky to win this. I think we created uh, enough chances of course to win but uh, Athletic Bilbo had more XG and yeah I think uh, this is a lucky three points. A draw probably would have been a more fair result and I mean Harvey Elliott 
I mean, out of 11 dribbles, he completed 8, so Harvey Elliott is a bowler. Inter have beaten Porto 3-1, so at the moment we are top, Inter are second, and we play Porto home and away. If we win those two games, we are pretty much through already. In this group, it's very tight, but I think Napoli and Leverkusen should be good enough to go through. And at the moment, Tottenham and Barcelona, the two favorites, uh, are winless, but they are also unbeaten. Very strange. Man United are topping the group alongside Rangers. That is a big surprise. I expected Rangers to come last in this group because in real life they are not doing very well in the Champions League. Man City are leading this group, no surprise, and Leipzig are second. Roma have beaten Bayern and then Braga. So Roma are bossing this group at the moment. And Real Madrid are also bossing this group. AC Milan have a lot of work to do to go through. PSG are also steamrolling everyone at the moment, but Sevilla should come as second. And remember last season Middlesbrough beat Brighton in the League Cup final on penalties. They ended up in the Conference League as a championship side and they are leading their group, which is absolutely amazing. Imagine if they qualify to the knockout stages. What a story that would be. Our next game is also very important and Ferreira, the new signing from season one, starts in this game and Bobby Firmino gets a start just like Jordan Henderson. Darwin Nunez gets a run out up front. He is one of our top scorers already this season. Welcome to the Brentford Liverpool game. Let's win this and let's keep our winning run going. Ferreira. Playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Go on Trent. Hopefully we get a really good game here. To Salah. Ferreira! Oh, Go Jordan. on, Ferreira! Tactics well, right. They might just be pleasantly surprised. And Bobby Firmino can run. Darwin Nunez. Diaz. And back with Firmino. Firmino. And Salah! Luis Diaz picks out Mo Salah, makes it 1-0. What a brilliant team play goal. Get in. Just a wonderful pass this by Darwin Nunez. So unselfish and Salah buries it. Brilliant chance. Firmino. Oh, Luis Diaz hits the post, but he's offside. Yeah, he was way offside, unlucky. Oh, what the header. By Luis Diaz. Darwin Nunez. And Ferreira! Oh, Strakosha saves it. No! This is a problem, go out to him! No! Chucky, a great save! Oh no, mate. No, you can't do this to me. Shakir again! Oh no. This is a problem! Shakir, great save. Oh, that's a red card, dude. Trent. Bobby, Firmino, Darwin Nunez! Bang, it's two! Darwin Nunez is unstoppable, he is inevitable! The agent of chaos scores again! I love Darwin Nunez! Remember, in season one, in the first half of the season, he had a very slow start to his Liverpool career. Then he started banging in the goals. He ended up on 18 goals in total, and I think that's a decent first season. But he can do so much better than that. Devin Shield Blue! Ooh, oh, Chuck here. Bellingham. Two. Carvalho. He can finish it! He missed it! Finally, we kept a clean sheet again. That's brilliant. And Chuck here made some big saves. Brentford had an XG of 1.6. We should have probably scored one more. How did Carvalho miss that chance at the end? And Darwin Nunez was the man of the match. He's improving nicely. He's now 85 rated. Jesus Ferreira, after his first start this season, sprained his knee. He's out for a month. Man City and Man United won, but Tottenham and and Arsenal lost. Everton beating Tottenham is a huge shock because now Everton are in the top four. 
and Chelsea won as well so Chelsea are slowly climbing up the table even though they beat us Chelsea are only in 13th place at the moment which is really embarrassing so it's a pre it's a international friendly game and you know what let's play the highlights of this because I still want to experiment and um, practice with this Hungary team so let's see what we can do against Finland and I think this uh, the highlights uh, will go quickly so Finland Hungary this is a good test for the Hungary team let's hope we can get the victory oh my goodness a penalty for Finland okay come on Golachi saves it brilliant penalty save that is great and we need to stop this attack oh no Gulachi, brilliant go on go on Soboslai has to finish it yeah! Dominic Soboslai, 1 0 Hungary, let's do that Haaland celebration. And finally, after many years, Dominic Soboslai has a game face on FIFA, which is brilliant. This could be one of the last attacks for Finland. Let's see if I can defend it. Oh no. Oh no, one on one. Please! No! Are you serious? They equalized in the 90th minute. Oh my goodness, that is heartbreaking, dude. Ah, I, I was so close to the ball, but I couldn't prevent that pass across goal. So this is why I wanted to like uh, show you the playable highlights of this uh, Hungary friendly, because it actually goes very quickly. So it's heartbreaking that we conceded in the, in the last minute. And yeah, probably Finland deserved at least a draw. And our next game is against Scotland. This will be another big test. Hopefully we can win this. Let's go and play the playable highlights only. And I love this stadium I tried to select a stadium which uh, models the Pushkas French stadium but it looks like it didn't register the name it's still Bali stadium for some reason oh my goodness there is a huge gap in the middle go on Kozdok has to finish it yes 1-0 Hungary what a start in the fourth minute Kozdok who is playing for Philadelphia in the MLS and he's breaking club records by scoring more than 20 goals in the regular season Go on, Shalai. Go on, Shalai. Please, Shalai. What a save. Oh boy, we have a two on one situation. I have one center back. This could level it. No. Oh, stop the cutback. Stop the cutback. Armstrong. No! Oh, brilliant! Oh, he wanted a power shot and yes! We have done it! We have won our first game with Hungary. It was in the third attempt. So Gazdag's early goal sealed the victory over Scotland. And I think we deserved it because Scotland didn't have a shot. We get a loan offer for Connor Bradley, Southampton. So if we could go there, we could monitor his progress because Southampton are also in the Premier League, of course. Our next game game is against Watford who are one of the worst teams in the league so I thought let's give a start to Kerkez our backup goalkeeper starts Timikas as well and Carvalho gets a run out but Darwin Nunez keeps his place because he's in red hot form welcome to Anfield let's keep the going let's keep the winning run going because we are top of the Premier League and we need to win these kind of games if we want to retain our Premier League title and that for me is the area that's key to Oh no, Luis Diaz is down! No! That is devastating news. Yes, and no. Beautiful. Salah. Nabi Keita. Two. Luis Diaz, who is injured, but... Oh, I thought he could score that. No! Uh-oh. Konate. Ooh! That could have been a foul. Oh, look how calm our goalkeeper is. Brilliant. Simikas, Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunez. Go on. And Carvalho surely! Yes! Fabio Carvalho! He missed a sitter in the previous game, but now he scores a lovely goal. Fantastic passive move, again passing move, and Keita finds Carvalho wide open and he will not miss that big chance. Fabio Carvalho, I'm glad I recalled him from loan because we need players like him. 
Thanks as always to Alex. No! Oh, Chuck here, what a save! Over it comes. Come on, clear it! Oh, wow. No. Oh my goodness, what a strike! Oh my goodness, what a crossfield ball that is! Kerkes, get there! Oh, Kerkes, brilliant defending! Darwin Nunez. Luis Diaz. Oh my goodness, that, that's not a foul! That's not a foul! Darwin Nunez was sent to the shadow realm with that tackle and the referee doesn't give anything. There was no break in play in the second half, so the game is over. Look at my team! I couldn't make another substitution and we have a Champions League game three days after this one. It's incredible, I'm glad I rotated the team. Back to back clean sheets in the league and I'm so happy that we won this game but I think overall we were the better team there weren't that many chances to show you six shots only but yeah a one year scoreline is a fair result I think and Fabio Carvalho was the man of the match brilliant this is absolutely devastating news our best and our only out and out left winger is out for three months he misses like 30-35% uh, of the season that is really really a tough injury to take so now I will probably in the biggest games play Darwin Nunez up front and Jota on the left wing because Man United lost to Tottenham we opened up a big gap at the top of the league we are now five points clear and that's brilliant Man City also lost to Leicester so from second until like ninth place there is just one point between the teams but because we were so consistent lately and I'm so happy that we kept back-to-back -back clean sheets we are now very well clear at the top of the league Chelsea are still in 12th place and um, are now Southampton are in the relegation zone Christian Eriksen with Muriel are the top scorers in the league Darwin Nunez has six goals Jota has five Salah has four Diaz has four but sadly Diaz is out and Idiaz was leading the assist charts when he got that three month injury so that's really tough to take and now Chakir has two clean sheets in four games that's really nice Luis Diaz is our top scorer this season so for him to get a three month injury is devastating but uh, we have to cope and we still have Jota, Nunez and Salah three world class forwards but this is why I recalled Fabio Carvalho he can play on the wing it's, if it's necessary uh, so he will be probably a rope option on the wing and yeah we need uh, the midfielders like Bellingham, Naby Keita, Bobby Firmino to step up and bang in some goals. The next episode will be fun we play Porto, Newcastle, Exeter City, West Ham United and Porto again so and the month of November will be a big challenge as well. Thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later goodbye